The federal government says its fight against corruption is very much on track. This is as Nigeria's Information Minister, Lai Mohammed, says the government has recovered over 120 billion naira and funds in other currencies through the implementation of the Proceeds of Crime, Recovery and Management Act 2022. The Minister of Environment, Mohammed Abdullahi, however, blamed state governors for the underutilization of the Ecological Intervention Fund made available by the federal government. Tijeswa Dewey reports. The eighth edition of the President Muhammad Buhari scorecard series features the Minister of Environment, Mohammed Abdullahi. The minister delivers a comprehensive breakdown of the ministry's performance and achievements under the leadership of President Muhammad Buhari. However, in the question and answer session, Mr. Mohammed takes a swipe at the state governors for failing to effectively utilize the Ecological Intervention Fund made available by the federal government. It is said, when the state argued, initially, initially the federal government handles ecological funds, but the state argued that they must be given their own share of ecological funds. The federal government accepted, and at every fact allocation, they give their own share of allocation to states. So to come out and accuse the federal government of inaction is, is very unfair. Having gotten a fair share of your ecological funds over the years. So I, 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 I find that very, very amusing because each state is paid its share of ecological fund. But in spite of that, on the share of the federal government allocation of an ecological fund, the federal government still intervenes in states. The Minister of Information, on his part, says the federal government's fight against corruption has recorded significant progress as it has recovered over 120 billion naira through the recent Proceeds of Crime Act 2022. That the administration's fight against corruption is very much on track. As you may already know, Mr. President signed into law the Proceeds of Crime, Recovery and Management Bill 2022 on the 12th of May 2022. In line with the new law, all relevant agencies of government have now opened a confiscated and for future properties account. The minister says the monies recovered will be used to fund the completion of the government's ongoing critical infrastructure projects across the country, such as the second Niger Bridge, as well as the Lagos Ibadan and Abuja Kano Expressways. Tijesu Adewe, News, Abuja.